Father Anthony, one of your favorite books is entitled The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis Marie de Montfort. And yeah, the, uh, I have the book actually right here, The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. Um, I'm covering it right here. Could you tell us a little bit about the saint and the book? Uh, saint Louis de Montfort was a priest in uh, in France. He became a uh, a missionary in France and would uh, teach people about the Blessed Mother, teach people to pray the Rosary. He put this little book together to explain people to people what the Rosary is, the origin of the rosary and the way that he divided the chapters up is he divided them instead of chapter one he would um he would put them as uh as rows as like the first rows the second rows third rows and and so forth so he wanted to divide it up uh into different roses so that people could um you know could read it's a very simple book actually it's not hard to read um, but he does give the, the origin, the history of the rosary coming from St. Dominic. He, he gives many miracles, many uh, really great stories on the rosary, shows you what the rosary really is, shows you how to pray the rosary, about the confraternity of the rosary, how to, uh, you know, he explains the Our Father, he explains the Hail Mary, the Glory Be. Um, he explains the different mysteries of the rosary and why we pray the rosary. And so that, that, that's why he wrote the book. He wrote the book to uh, explain to people the rosary, especially probably in, in his missions. Um, I don't know if he was selling these books or, or maybe he wrote them afterwards to, to give people something to read, maybe after he would even be preaching there to encourage people to pray the rosary. And so he, he had a lot of success uh, preaching the, the rosary and actually um, really in enhancing the, the the faith of many of the the french people and and later on it was the um people that he preached to the areas that he preached to actually they, they were the people their descendants were the ones who uh suffered a lot during the french revolution and actually became martyrs so it was those very regions that he was promoting the rosary that um that suffered a lot during, during the french revolution the persecution of the church so it's so it's a really great book if you want to learn how to pray the rosary what it's about the origin of the rosary uh, the secret of the rosary is is a really great book uh, for introducing us uh, to the rosary father anthony could you take a moment just to you know reflect a little bit about uh, your favorite chapter in this book well the, the, there are um I mean, there, there, there are several uh, of the stories here which, which are really great. I, I think when I had first read this book, on The Secret of the Rosary, which was uh, years and years ago, there, there was one story that really jumped out at me. It was, it's the 33rd Rose. It was the story of a diabolical possession in which a um, an Albigensian had... Um, had you know, was diabolically possessed, had, uh, I think it was like 15,000 devils um, with inside of him because he was persecuting the rosary. And so St. Dominic went to this mission and um, and it was uh, St. Dominic that was trying to exercise the the demons and the, the, the demons were, were stubborn, would not um, respond to St. Dominic. And then finally, St. Dominic took his rosary and put his rosary around the possessed person and, um, and you know, forced the, the, the demons to speak. And the demons still wouldn't speak. And then finally, the, the Blessed Mother appeared. And she had, I guess, like her staff and like hit the demons and told them to speak. And the demons had to... Um, had to had to speak and answer Dominic, and so Saint Dominic 
um, force the demons to acknowledge the, the power of the rosary and the power of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the graces that, um, that God gives through the rosary. And then afterwards, um, St. Dominic asked the people to pray the rosary. And at, when the people were, were praying the rosary, the demons were actually exercised from this, um, from this person that was diabolically possessed by the demons. And I always, I always like that story because the, the story is, it's, it's one thing, say, to hear from the saints or to say the Blessed Mother or, or other holy people or, um, you know, theologians in the church, church people about the power of the rosary, but then to hear it from the demons who hate the rosary, who don't want us to pray the rosary, and to hear from them uh, when they have to acknowledge the truth about the power of the rosary, that, that really that really struck me because then that meant, wow, even even the demons acknowledge the power of the rosary. I mean they 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 only did it when you know the Blessed Mother forced them to they, they you know a demon won't acknowledge that unless if they're forced to but when they were forced to they they acknowledge the the powerful intercession of the blessed virgin mary and the rosary and so that that um that story always uh always struck me and and the uh and the secret of the rosary is a very powerful story you are listening to the digital cafe presented to you by the Rosary Hour podcast, a production of Travessa de Centra House Press in Porto, Portugal. This is Father Chris Alar, the Provincial Superior of the Marian Fathers here at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy. And it's great to be part of the Rosary Hour podcast. This mini-series on the Rosary is an invitation for anyone dedicated to deepening the why behind our prayers. And with that intention, a chance to offer to the Mother of God a genuine desire for change of heart and return to God. Thank you and enjoy, and God bless you. You can subscribe to our podcast by going to rosaryhourpodcast.substack.com. That's rosaryhourpodcast.substack.com.